Hey everyone, so if you like hard surface modeling and you like sci-fi design, but you hate to learn all of those different tools with thousands of functions and especially learn topology and you just want to have some fun and get really fast, absolutely amazing results, then you might heard already of plasticity. This tool is honestly the best for beginners and hard surface modeling. You can create so crazy fast, so amazing shapes. And in this tutorial, we will create the sci-fi prop here so go on to plasticity website try it for free link in the description let's check it out let's start very simple first of all with the main shape without any details and this is a rectangle with some chamfers so we go to the top view and we create here a corner rectangle snap to the middle drag it out press C so it's going like in all direction with the same distance so something like that and now B is the command for fill it. So here you see all the commands, press B, and we can either fill it or bevel it, depending on the direction where you drag it. But we want a nice chamfer here, or bevel, however you call it. And now in face mode, press three. And um, so by the way, here on the right, you always see the shortcuts. So select this face and you can extrude that. So you also see that here, so let's extrude this a little bit. Yeah, something like that. Right click to confirm every operation. And now you see we can see through. <laughs> you see the edges on the other side. I don't want it right now. So here you have a toggle X-ray mode or Alt Z, the shortcut uh, for that. First of all, because here we have a chamfer. So this is this chamfer, right? And guys, that's why it's so important to work always with reference, like to learn, because when you look at references, then for example, hmm, how I can create this hole or this, and then you encounter problems and you don't know how to do it. And then you have to figure it out. And this is the way you learn. So always work with references, especially as a beginner. So we want to create now this chamfer here on the top. We can select this edge and either fill it, it or chamfer that. And also we have here a white circle. You can adjust the angle a little bit. So pretty cool. Uh, we can play a little bit around and see just what we like. And yeah, I think I will go with something like that. That looks fine. And let's delete that curve here at the bottom. It's just uh, disturbing, so press X. And now let's create this first fillet here. So this is this edge, so we select this edge always here with edge mode. And again, we can either chamfer or, or fillet it. And again, that looks here a little bit weird, but we will fix this in a second. But I think that looks fine for now. Right click. And also we are right now just working on one quarter, just on this edge here or corner, because we will mirror everything over in, the, in a second. So we don't have to do it four times the same operations. So let's now create here this cut with, with this big chamfer here. So, so there are two ways. So basically you could, so it very depends on the geometry, but you could just select this edge here and just drag that down here. Super simple, right? So either chamfer, so as you like, and then even adjust here the corner or something. Or what you could do if you want, yeah, something a little bit more complex. You could just create a curve here and just for example right now, so I mean a line, create a line, go to front mode here, so click on the cube and you could create here a shape that you like. But we don't see the curve uh, or the line, right? So that's why we want again toggle X-ray mode or press Alt Z. So now you can see it, right? Okay, so if we create a line and we, for example, it's just a very simple example, we can go here and just drag that up here and drag that again somewhere here and just go here towards the end. You see, so we have something like that and here, so I guess if you watch this tutorial, maybe you're interested like in hard surface and sci-fi, you could create any shape here. And now you can take this curve and press C for cut and cut this whole main body press right click to confirm, go to object mode and select the object on the top and X to delete it. Let's just press Alt Z. 
so we can't see through and delete this curve here and we have something like that. So here you can further yeah, adjust it or even press R for rotate it and give it here some, how's it called, like uh, some angle. So you could really create some really interesting shapes here and fillet that. And yeah, that's going a little bit too crazy. So I'm just going back, but just to show it to you. But let's follow here our reference, <laughs> what I told you before. So let's jam for that and maybe give it a little bit of an angle. So I, I think we have something like that. And I think this is cool. And now again, we have a fillet here at the top. So let's create a fillet here and also here on the side. So let's select this edge and give it a nice fillet. And if you press Shift E, so for you it's right click here and you have here show edges. So perfect shortcut if you search, so if you click F, you can search for any shortcut and there you have toggle, viewport toggle edges, right click, change shortcut, put it on shift E, like it's a very good shortcut, <laughs> you will use it all the time, you see, and now you can check out your shape and guys look, I really love this transition, so we have like this and here at the top, so what we want to do now because I think now is the right moment to bring it on the other side, so symmetry it over. So go to object mode, select this whole object, and here you have mirror or alt x. So by the way, if you want this uh, shortcut PDF and many more resources, and as I explained to you in the beginning, you want to learn how to create this perfect Apple Watch from scratch as a complete beginner, and learn all of those additional bonus parts about UI and all that stuff. Everything you get there, so the shortcuts, the extra course, so first link in the description if you're interested, but I really can recommend it to you. So Alt X and you get, get this gizmo here and we want to bring the right to the left, so we just click here on this right thing and perfect. Also union then, so click here, merge halves together, press OK and let's do the same for the other side. So again, Alt X and select this time the green one. And we have it on the other side, merge halves together, press OK. And voila guys, I think this form looks already really, really cool. And what you could even do is go face mode. And if you want to create some yeah, adjustments, select all of those faces. And with G, you can bring it up a little bit, you can bring it down. So not everything is possible, but you will see plasticity is like very over overpowered. You could do a whole bunch of stuff. You could even delete those or select those fillets, press X and you have your back, your form. And then you could even readjust here this angle. Maybe you want, I don't know, like something crazy like that. And again, select this edge here. And maybe you want something like that. Maybe one side like that, like that, you know? So just to show it to you, plasticity is crazy. <laughs> Perfect. So now let's create here our first really cool detail, this mesh pattern here. So I will just do it without reference because yeah, I did that already many times. What you want to do is in face mode, you want to select the face where you want to grid this one and if you press spacebar you get here a temporary construction plane so if you move around you see this plane is now perfectly adjusted to this face here so that means if you want to create now a rectangle and right click this rectangle is perfectly aligned to this face so let's press space again and create here first this rectangle and then place all of those little hexagons inside. So a rectangle to the middle, press C and let's first adjust here this, yeah, this rectangle, you can play around and also you can press G and adjust it even this way. Maybe press SS, something like that. And again, press B for bevel and let's give it here a little yeah, bevel or fillet. 
just to see where, so, so, so we have a place where we can place our hexagons. So go to this hexagon regular polygon and create one polygon. But here at the bottom right, you have some extra commands and here add vertex, shift wheel up. So we just click shift and uh, yeah, scroll with the wheel till we have like this little hexagon here. So let's create that. Right click to confirm. GG just to bring it here into a nice position. And now we can here rectangular array just create many of them. Maybe let's use like, I don't know, 10 or so. Okay, maybe, maybe nine. But yeah, it's like a tutorial, it's fine. So something like that, right click and let's shift D to duplicate and bring those ones here a little bit down and just here in between. Yes, I know we could do it much more exact, but for the tutorial, it's fine. So press OK, delete the last one because this one is a little bit like an outsider. <laughs> so let's select those two rows, shift D again and bring them again down here. And this time just select those, the, the long up, which goes here to the outside and shift D and bring them here to the bottom. If you want, you can select them all. So select from right to left and maybe you can bring them a little bit down and just adjust as you want. And what we want to do now is give them all a little fillet because that will just look better. So press B, zoom in a little bit and give them a little fillet. Perfect. And now what we want to do, now we want to boolean them out, creating here some holes. So super simple. We can press G and let's bring them out a little bit, just that we see it better. Right click and let's go out of the construction plane and hide this uh, curve here. And now, so we can extrude if we select face and we select one face, but we can with alt click select all faces which are planar and extrude them. It's a little bit slow, but it works. Extrude them here inside. But is it possible to instantly like boolean them and to see the progress? Of course, we are using plasticity. If you press Q, so Q is always boolean command. Okay. So while you are in the sex root mode, you can press Q and select this main body here and you see everything gets blue. So if it's blue, that means it will union that. So it will, if you would right click, confirm it, it would be one body, but we want a difference. So here at the bottom right, you have W. If you press W, voila, everything gets red. And now we can even extrude it even deeper, but this is fine here. So, okay. And we have some amazing holes here. Super fast, right? And now press two. Alt click all of those hexagons. You can put them in a group or save them, but for now I will just delete them. Let's bring back our rectangle back. What we want to do now, so is select this rectangle. And because here we see we have the holes and we have ni this nice yeah, cut here, right? So we will press C and cut our main body. Press OK. Delete this curve. We don't need it. And we can select two of those edges. Like be aware, don't select it. Or you will see if you select other edges. So just find the place where there are no edges or press Alt Z so you can see through. So select it here and give it nice, some nice chamfers here. Perfect. So now maybe someone is already waiting for how can we give it here everywhere a fillet without selecting every line edge. Very simple. We can just select in face mode this whole face here because of this face, all of those edges are a part of, right? So maybe there's a command that, which allows us to select or convert this selection into the edges. So let's use plasticity Google as I call it. So press F, then you have here the search command and just type in what you want to do. So sometimes you find it, sometimes not, but we want select. And if you go down, we have here selection convert to edges. So the selection, 
this yellow one, we want to convert it into edges. Bam. Now we have a bit, so now we also have those edges, which we don't want. So press two and just with control click, let's deselect only those on the outside. And now if you press B and we zoom in a little bit, we can give it nice, some beautiful fillet. Right click to confirm and voila guys, we have something really cool. So I like here right click with this red mode and you see we have some really nice cool highlights. Perfect, so let's go face mode and go back here and select this inner piece and this and again Alt X for mirror and bring it to the other side, merge halves together. Sometimes it's not working, then let's do it one by one. So select first this one bring it over, merge halves together and let's do the same and just bring this one to the other side. We don't have to merge it. So we have like three separate objects and yeah, you can play with them further around. So maybe let's now create those little details. But before we will do that, let's give this whole thing some fillets. So if we press two, we can select now all of those edges here and just give them some fillets and also you have here the command caudal so all of the fillets will be the exact same size if the geometry is simple as we have here then it you see it works perfectly fine and now at the top we want to add those little details so we go to the top view and we will just create here a, a center circle and just yeah, drag that somewhere here. And now we want like straight lines so we can create a corner rectangle and select this three point rectangle and just go from here middle point till middle point and just drag it out. Right click and you see we have this cool shape but we don't want so let me just bring this little shape here to the top and we don't want those middle curves here in the middle. So press T for trim and just select those. Right click and now it's much cleaner. And select both curves and press join. So we just have one curve because now you don't have to, but I just like it because sometimes you have then 50 curves if you do some crazy stuff. But we can select here this face mode, select this face and we can again drag that downwards. And again, as you remember, or you can find in the shortcut sheet, first link in the description, press Q for boolean, select this main body, it looks blue, so here W for difference, and you see we can perfectly adjust everything. So right click, delete this curve here with edge mode, and if you want, you can again in face mode, select it, select this face, and just drag that out, select face mode, and select all of those interfaces and with G is the move command. Bam, <laughs> we can just bring it here to the other side. So this is really cool. So right click and again, like let's fill it that. So yeah, just like very simple here for the tutorial. Perfect, B because now again, you could select it and Alt X and just bring that here over, merge halves together. Right click and do the same here, merge halves together and you see you are getting into details. So you have here also a lot of other little details which are basically the exact same process. So this is what I want that you will do now is that you will finish that exactly as here or add some of your own details. And before you finish your little project, if you want to dive much deeper into plasticity as a beginner and yeah, create this Apple Watch completely from scratch with all of the details, first link in the description. I hope I can see you there. And yeah, let me know if you want more of this kind of yeah, very simple sci-fi props tutorials. What other tutorials? Just let me know in the comments below this video. Enjoy your day. Bye.